Hi everyone, this is Mavic Pot, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 24. Now question 24, the amino acid glycine exists as different ionic species depending on pH. So we have two dissociations here involving pKa1 and pKa2. Later, we will look at each one of them in detail. So which row could be correct? What we want to do is we want to assign the pKa values for pKa1 and pKa2. So we have two to choose from, 2.4, 9.8. So we want to determine which pKa value is smaller, which pKa value is larger. And we also want to determine the formula of glycine ion at pH 13. So the topic tested in this question is under nitrogen compound, targeting amino acids. So let us take a look at the dissociation involving pKa1 and pKa2. Now, involving pKa1 and pKa2, if I look at the first dissociation, it's targeting the amino acid, losing its H plus to form conjugate base. So since it is targeting the acid group, pKa1 should be associated to the pKa value for your alpha acid functional group. If I consider dissociation 2, second dissociation is targeting NH3 plus to become NH2. So your ammonium becomes your amine. So this is targeting the second pKa value. Second pKa value should be targeting the alpha amino group. Now we know that for your amino acid glycine, my alpha acid pKa value is pKa1 and your alpha amino group pKa value is pKa2 and based on the nature of the functional group, I know that acid obviously is an acid group. Its pKa value has to be less than 7. We would expect pKa1 to be less than 7 and if it is an amine, amine is a base, so we will expect the pKa value for a base to be greater than 7. pKa2 should be greater than 7. So once we have determined this, we can actually look at the options and we can eliminate some of the possibilities. We will expect pKa1 to be less than 7. We will expect pKa2 to be above 7. So pKa1 should be the value 2.4. pKa2 should be the value 9.8. And because of that, we will eliminate options C and option D. So this is the first portion, assigning the pKa value for pKa1 and pKa2. Now the next thing we want to do is, what if you throw this amino acid into pH equals to 13, then what would this amino acid exist as? Now what we will have to do is we will have to consider the pKa value for each of this functional group. And I have to consider if I put this functional group into a solution at pH equals to 13, would this functional group think that the solution is acidic or alkaline with respect to itself? Then, depending on the functional group, it will respond accordingly. So let us just run this through part by part. If I consider alpha acid, alpha acid, remember pKa1 is equals to 2.4. If I put this alpha acid into a solution pH 13, pH 13 is greater than the pKa value for your alpha acid, greater than pKa1. So this means that the solution is alkaline with respect to your alpha acid. And since we have an acidic functional group, it will respond to the alkaline solution. My acid will be converted to conjugate base. So we would expect COOH to be converted to COO minus. Now if I consider my alpha amino group, alpha amino group pK value is 9.8. If you put this amino acid into a solution where the pH is equal to 13, again, we have to compare pH of the solution against the pKa value for your functional group. So pH 13 is greater than pKa2. The solution is alkaline with respect to your amine. And since amine it is a base, you only respond to acidic solution. It doesn't react with alkaline solution. So there's no change for your amine functional group. Amine will not respond or will not react with an alkaline solution. So this will mean that your amine will remain as NH2. So we actually have determined the species that this amino acid will exist as at pH equals to 13. So we just need to run through the options. And if I look at between options A and B, option A is I have an NH3+, plus, we get an ammonium and an acid group, which is not what we want here. And option B, of course, is a better answer. We have our amine and the conjugate base of our acid. So this should be the formula of your glycine at pH equals to 13. So the answer to this question will be option B. Okay, so that was the discussion involving question 24. And if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.